channel. Today we are going to learn about sutures uh, and we'll start by definition then proceed to the classification of sutures and uh, we'll learn about where we use these sutures. So basically uh, suture is a surgical device that is used to close a surgical wound or a, a wound that has been caused by accident. And uh, secondly, sutures are classified into two. We have absorbable sutures and uh, non-absorbable sutures. So, as illustrated in the chart below, the uh, non So to start with, in absorbable sutures, we have proline sutures. So proline sutures, uh, these are non-absorbable and uh, they come in uh, different colors. We have blue and clear. And we also have different sizes. They come in 10 O through 2. And the uses of these sutures, we use them in soft tissues, especially in cardiovascular surgeries. Uh, we also use them as skin sutures and also they are used as endoscopical sutures and uh, these sutures, uh, the DSR profile, uh, this means uh, how, how, how the, the strength of the suture, the strength is indefinite and uh, they normally come in this colors as is illustrated here, uh, blue or clear is ethibond. Ethibond is a braided suture, uh, that means they are wo woven sutures and uh, they come in different colors, you can find green and white sutures. They also come in different sizes, they have 7 holes through 2 to 5. They are also used in cardiac surgeries and endoscopic surgeries. Uh, they also, the, the, the strength is also indefinite and as you can see, uh, illustration of a woven suture. We have green and uh, white. Another non absorbable sutures, we have nylon. Nylon suture is a monofilament suture, which means uh, one strand, strand suture that is not woven. So they come in different colors. We have black, green, and clear. Uh, nylon, we have uh, different sizes. They come from 11 0 through 2. They are used in skin closure and uh, microvascular surgeries. And as you can see the DSR, they, uh, some sutures gradually fade with the time. So the colors are illustrated here. Uh, we have black, green, and clear. We also have surgic surgical stainless uh, steel. These are also monofilament and they come uh, as silver metallic. Uh, we have different sizes. They come from 5 -0 through 7 -0. And these are used in soft tissues approximation. Uh, in cases of orthopedic surgeries where we have osteoarthritis and uh, sometimes in cardiac for sternal closure. And uh, the basic uh, strength, they are indefinite. And they come as clear sutures. So I'll just uh, show you an example of uh, sutures. So this is proline. These are proline sutures. Uh, proline sutures, we have different sizes. We have a zero, we have two zero, and as I shown you, we also have eight zero. So looking at it, eight zero is the smallest, and as you come down to zero, is the largest in proline sutures. Our second example is ethibond. Ethibond sutures, we have number five appearing as the biggest, and also we have some small sizes of ethibond. So these are ethibond sutures, non absorbable. Another example that I'm going to show you is the nylon. These are nylon sutures. 
we have a two nylon and we have a three nylon so basically these are used for skin closures so for guys working in emergency room for minor lacerations they normally clean the wounds and use three or nylons to close the skin surgical steel surgical steel come in such packs and basically they are steel steel wires as uh, you can see an example of steel illustrated here so this is a that that has not been opened but we have a sample that uh, shows what is inside the pack. So these are steel. So these are also non-absorbable. Uh, our last example is silk suture, which is not in the table, but it's also one of the uh, non-absorbable sutures. So from there, we are going to proceed to absorbable sutures. So for absorbable sutures, as you can see in this table, we have a number of absorbable sutures. So number one here, we are going to see a Vicryl Rapid. Vicryl Rapid uh, is a braided uh, suture. Some, uh, they are undyed, which means they are not colored. Uh, this are normally used in uh, skin closure and uh, skin closure, uh, trauma wounds, and <clears throat> and the uh, trucker holes when you're doing laparoscopic procedures and uh, the basic strength of the suture it lasts for between 5 to 14 days and for the suture to be absorbed completely from the body it takes 42 42 days and uh, uh, this suture is braided which means it is wo woven so this is how the braided sutures appear we also have monocryl monocryl it's also absorbable suture and uh, they also come in different colors. There are those that are dyed and non-dyed. So the ones that are dyed are colored and the non-dyed do not have colors. And they also come in different sizes. We have 6 through 1. These are also used in uh, closure of peritoneum and uh, subcutaneous, uh, subcutaneous uh, sutures. And these sutures also hold tissues up to 70 days. And for the suture to be completely absorbed in the body, it takes 91 to 119 days. And uh, this is how they appear. Monocryl, we have clear monocryl, and the dyed monocryl are blue in color. Another absorbable suture is Vicryl. Vicryl also are braided sutures, means they are woven. They are dyed vicryls and undyed vicryls. As I explained, the dyed vicryls, which means uh, they are colored, and undyed, they don't have colors. So we have different sizes that you can get H0 uh, vicryl to through three. Through three. Vicryls are used for soft tissues, uh, abdominal uh, and vascular surgeries, endoscopic surgeries, and uh, closing tissues that are less than two millimeters. And uh, they can hold tissues up to two months. And for the sutures to be completely absorbed in the body, it takes 56 to 70 days. So, as I explained, they are uh, woven sutures, for, uh, and this is how woven sutures appear. Uh, our last uh, absorbable suture is PDS. So, the PDS is a monofilament suture. They also come in colors. Uh, they are dyed and undyed. And PDS, we have PDS that um, is plain and the PDS that uh, is impregnated with antibiotics. So they come in different sizes. We have 7 through 2 and 6 through 1. And uh, mostly uh, PDS is used to close tissues and uh, endoscopic surgeries and uh, mostly in fascias. Uh, patients who are malnourished would prefer using a PDS because the tensile strength, it takes a longer time for tissues to heal, for example, on uh, a malnourished patients. So this, this is a good selection suture for the patients who are malnourished. And as you can see, the old tissues uh, for longer time, up to six to four to six months. And for the suture to be completely absorbed in the body, 
it takes 182 days to 238 days. So that is how long the suture will take to be completely absorbed. So uh, we'll go ahead and see the example of absorbable sutures. So we'll start with the vicryl. So this is vicryl. So vicryl, we have uh, different companies and they come with different names, but uh, they do the same purpose. So there's a Synthacon company, the Vicryl come as Synthap, and we have another company, but the Vicryl come as Polysorb. And uh, I'll show you Monocryl. Monocryl, this is a Monocryl. So this company, the brand name is Sagicryl, but this is Monocryl for skin closure. And then lastly, we are going to look at the PDS. This is our PDS. So as I've told you, they come in sizes from 4 5 until through 0. So this is the biggest PDS that we have. So Vicryl, we have uh, different companies and they come with different names, but uh, they do the same purpose. So there's a Synthacon company, the Vicryl come as Synthap, and we have another company, but the Vicryl come as Polysorb. And uh, I'll show you monocryl. Monocryl, this is a monocryl. So this company, the brand name is Sagicryl, but this is monocryl for skin closure. And then lastly, we are going to look at the PDS. This is our PDS. So as I've told you, they come in sizes from 4 5 until through zero. So this is the biggest PDS that we have. And uh, these are just examples of absorbable switches. So uh, that's the absorbable switches that we have. And lastly on, uh, we also have a, a suture uh, that's called chromic cut guard. It's being faced off from the market, but uh, uh, still we have some few that we can get if we, we order. There are sutures that really absorb fast within seven days that are absorbed and they can be used in uh, mucous membrane and uh, liver lacerations. So this is an uh, example of a chromic cut cut. So that's all about sutures and uh, I hope this small illustration can help us understand uh, basically what we have in terms of sutures and their classification. Thank you.